It's said that a good name is worth more than great riches. I am an Asian American with a European sounding name. My parents are from India, but they have Portuguese ancestry. The Portuguese came to India in the 1600s and colonized part of the country. Because of this, people living in that area have many aspects of Western culture, even though they live in India. However, those people make up a very small minority of all Indians. My name often throws people off because they have preconceived notions of what they think a Jonathan Lynn should look like. I've gotten used to substitute teachers looking up and pausing when I say here, as if they were recalibrating themselves, or as if I was, they thought I was pretending to be someone else in the class. That's right, Mr. Teacher. I'm not the blonde-haired, blue-eyed kid that you thought I was. As a small child, I was never really aware of race. It only first came up in second grade when I wanted to be my friend Nate's twin on twin day, but he said no, because our skin colors didn't match. Up until that point, I thought I was just another white kid. But as I grew older, I realized that society placed many stereotypes on people purely based off of their appearance. In middle school, I worked really hard to get good grades, but I'd overhear people saying things like, oh, well, all Asians are expected to get good grades. And I remember one of my teachers who said that I was an expert on the Gupta Empire and would always ask me questions about it because I was Indian. But in reality, I just read a couple pages ahead in the textbook. <laughs> when I hang out with other Indians, things can be a little weird because even though a lot of them live in my neighborhood, they are so different from me. We don't listen to the same music, we don't speak the same Indian languages, and we don't watch the same movies, we don't eat all the same food. Honestly, some of them call me a coconut. According to them, I have a thin layer of brown on the outside, but on the inside, I'm all white. I stick to this white side when I hang around with my friends from jazz and band, just fit in better. There aren't too many famous jazz musicians who are of Indian origin, and sometimes I'll catch myself making fun of other Indians who are first generation and have strong Indian accents. But for the most part, what I discuss with these friends usually relates to music or some sort of musical event. On the other hand, it's not the same when I hang out with Indians. Even though they look like me, <clears throat> uh, their parents will often ask me questions like, Jonathan, what is your ACT score? Jonathan, what is your GPA? Jonathan, what AP classes are you taking? I feel like I'm pretending to be someone that I'm not. Jonathan, you're such a brilliant pianist. Will you play us fantasy impromptu? Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. <laughs> Ironically, when I hang out with people who look like me, I long to be with my jazz buddies who look different from me on the outside, but on the inside, all share the same love and passion for jazz. Despite the hardships that my tunis has created for me, I'm so grateful for it because it has given me the best of both worlds. Although being an Indian American can sometimes be difficult, I am very grateful for it because the blend of the two cultures has made me the person I am today. Music being a universal language, I would like, not, I'd like to now play you a jazz selection I wrote called The Coconut with my band. Thank you. <laughs>